All right. In this video, I plan to go um, over the dominant species um, at a given pH. Okay, the idea is to determine whether the acid is dominant or the base form is dominant at a given uh, pH. Okay. Now, let me write that down. The dominant dominant species. Okay. To tackle this problem, what we do is we use the henderson hasselbach equation. Um, so henderson hasselbach equation looks something like this. Uh, the pH is equal to pKa log conjugate base concentration over the weak acid concentration. Okay, so from this we can see that log A minus concentration over HA concentration is equal to pH minus pKa. Okay, therefore uh, A minus concentration over HA concentration or the base two acid ratio base form to acid form ratio should be equal to 10 to the power of pH minus pKa. Okay. Um, now what we can what we can um, learn from this is if our pH write this down if the pH is greater than the pKa then this value, uh, this value is gonna be a, a positive value. The pH is greater than the pKa, this value is a positive value, okay? That means we're gonna have more of the numerator compared to the denominator, if this, okay? This value is a positive value. So that means if we have more of the numerator, if pH is greater than the pKa, the, um, uh, the base form is going to be dominant. Okay. Base form is dominant. Okay. And on the other hand, if our pH is less than the pKa, okay then we're gonna see that if the pH is less than the pKa, okay, this overall value pH minus pKa will be a negative value, meaning we're gonna have more of the denominator compared to the numerator, okay? That means we are gonna have the more of the weak acid compared to, uh, compared to the base form, okay? So let's write that down. If pH is less than the pKa, the acid, form is dominant, okay? We only need this much to determine the dominant species, okay? Uh, I'll give you an example. In, your, uh, in, in, in the top at homework, we had question like this, okay? You are given the pH. Okay, let's say the pH was uh, 3.5. And then you are also given the Ka. Uh, and then, oh, oh, look, we took the pKa from that. You are given the pKa. It was around uh, 3.75. I think you were given the Ka, but you can calculate the pKa by taking the minus log of the Ka value. So these values are going to come out to be like this. Now, if this is the case, okay, since our pH is, uh, pH is less than the pKa, okay, here's an example here. Our pH is less than the pKa. Therefore, we need to have more of the acid. Acid is dominant. Okay. Um, now we can also calculate the numbers actually, okay? So if we, if we to calculate how much more of the, uh, of the acid we have compared to 
uh, the the base, all we had to do is we need to go back and use uh, this expression over here. Let me have that in this expression over here. Okay, so let's do this. So A minus concentration over H A concentration is okay, is 10 to the power of pH minus pKa. Now for this should be 10 to the power of pH is 3.5. Okay, minus pKa is 3.75. And this will come out to be 10 to the power of minus 0.25. Okay. Now, what this tells us is, if we just rewrite this, A minus concept of the conjugate base over weak acid concentration should be equal to one over 10 to the power of 0.25. That means we have more of the acid. How many times more? Uh, how many times more? 10 to the power of 0.25 is 1.78. Therefore, for every one conjugate base, we're gonna have one point seven eight of the weak acid okay so uh yeah this is all we have to do there um and then i want to do another example let me see if i can uh can share my screen in a different way okay i'm gonna stop sharing Let's see, I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, zoom, start the podcast. Okay, now, now this question was from one of the exams, okay? Here you're given the PKAs and the PKBs of some functional groups in the compound. And then you are asked to find, uh, let's see if I can screenshot, okay. And then you are asked to find uh, the dominant species. Okay, let's go to that question really quickly. All right, yeah, here's this question, okay. So again, all we had to do is we had to decide whether the pH is less than the pKO uh, greater than the pK, that is it. Okay, so let's begin. So you're given the pK of this OH group over here, and then our pH is uh, eight, right? Eight is less than 9.5. Therefore, we can write pH is less than the pKa, okay? If pH is less than the pKa, then uh, with respect to the OH group, the acid is dominant. And then when it comes to the amine group over here, we are given the PKB, but we need to find the PKA to deal with this. PKA is 14 minus the PKB, which is, um, which is 4.5, okay? So our PKA, uh, our PKA is less than our pH value for this, because we can write that our pH is greater than the pK because remember the P, uh, pH is 8.0, okay? So if that is the case with respect to the amine, uh, the base form is dominant. Base form is dominant, okay? Now, then if you look at the answers, all right, so we have, so the acid form of the OH is OH as it is, okay? And the base form of uh, the amine group is uh, the, the neutral in, in the amine group without ac before accepting the proton, okay? So it has to be between, let's see, okay? It has to be, uh, it, it cannot be these answers because there are, there's a charge, it cannot be this, right? It has to be uh, one of the first two, yeah. And then between the first two, 
you and the only difference is the H3O plus and OH minus. Now, the when it comes to H3O plus and OH minus, how do we know which one is dominant? So we have a pH of eight. Okay, if the pH is eight, uh, okay, we can actually let me write this down. The pH is equal to uh, we know the minus log H3O plus concentration. Okay, so we know that H3O plus concentration is 10 to the power of minus pH, which is uh, 10 to the power of minus eight. Okay, and then we can also calculate the OH minus concentration because if you know the pH, you know the pOH is 14 minus pOH, therefore uh, pOH is uh, is 14 minus eight, which is six. Okay, now for the OH minus concentration is 10 to the power of minus six. Okay, so you have more of OH minus than H3O plus because 10 to the power of minus six is greater than 10 to the power of minus eight. Therefore, we have more of OH minus. Therefore, uh, between H3O plus and OH minus, OH minus is dominant because you have more of that. Therefore, the correct answer is. Uh, the second choice over here. All right, um, so that's how we tackle. We can do another problem like that from the exam. Um, yeah, now let's just do this question. So you're given the, they have changed the pH here, right? So we have a pH of six. So pH of six is, uh, is less than the pKa of OH group. Okay, therefore, for this, uh, the acid form is dominant. Okay, and then the pKa of the amine group is 14 minus 9.5, which is, which is 4.5. Okay, then again, uh, this pKa is going to be, the pH is greater than the pKa, because pH is 6, okay, pH is six, pKa is 4.5, therefore pH is greater than the pKa. And, uh, and therefore when it comes to the amine, the base form is dominant. The base form of the amine is uh, what the, the neutral amine acid is, okay? And the acid form of the OH must be the OH, okay? Now, uh, the pH is six. So therefore again, it has to be between, uh, between the two neutral species, okay? Uh, so it cannot be any of these bottom ones. Okay, it has to be between the first two, right? And between the first two, you want one of them is three or plus is dominant. The other one is OH minus is dominant. A pH of six, when the pH is, so our pH is less than, uh, less than seven. If the pH is less than seven, that means you're gonna have more of the, more, more, more of a three or plus. Okay, and H3O plus concentration is greater than the OH minus concentration. Okay, so pH six is neutral pH is pH seven. If the pH is less than the pH seven, then you have more of H3O plus. And if the pH is greater than uh, seven, then you have more OH minus, okay? So at pH six, the dominant species must be H3O plus between uh, H3O plus and OH minus, okay? Now for the correct answer is this first option over here. Right, maybe uh, one last one, okay, over here. Um, Do we have anything that okay? Let's do pH well. Let's do this question. The last, uh, the last one, last example. All right, our pH is twelve now. With respect to the OH, the pH is greater than the pKa. Therefore, the base form is dominant. The base form of uh, OH is going to be the O minus. Okay, because there are only two here. You can see that there are only two forms. Okay, some of them have OH. And some of them have uh, the I can't draw now the O minus. 
Okay, so between OH and O minus, O minus can never act as an acid, okay, because it has a negative charge. A negative charge cannot donate a positive, positively charged H plus, so they can accept them. So this is an acceptor of uh, O minus is an acceptor of a proton that is going to be a base, not an acid. Therefore, the acid form must be um, must be uh, the OH. Okay, now. Now we got that. And then again, the pKa of the amine group is, um, is 4.5. Okay, because 14 minus 9.5 is uh, 4.5. And then with respect to uh, the pH, our pH is greater, pH is greater than pH of 12 is much, much greater than the pKa of this amine group. And as a result of that, the base form is dominant for the amine as well. And then as a, therefore, the base form of, uh, of amine, we know that it has to be the, the neutral species uh, as it is. Okay, so it has to be something that contains O minus. Okay, therefore, these guys are out. And when it comes to the amine, amine should be neutral. Uh, okay, that is the case for both of the, both of the first two options. Okay, and then what we need to decide is between between uh, the two options that are left, what is dominant? It's three O plus or OH minus. Our pH is twelve. Okay, our pH is greater than seven. If the pH is greater than seven. And you're gonna have more of OH minus than H3O plus. Okay, OH minus will be greater than H3O plus. Okay, this is a basic solution. Basic solution means you have more OH minus. Therefore, the correct answer must be uh, this option over here. All right, so I think I think that should take care of uh, um This okay. I'll, I hope that this helps you uh, review um, uh, review the dominant species. How to determine the dominant species uh, when you are given the pKa or pKb and the pH. Right. I'll see you guys in class. Bye, everybody.